Thank you very much. The second question I wanted to ask was uh, about uh, regional security and in particular about uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo on which, as I mentioned, uh, Botswana has taken a, a very principled and, and strong stance. And we, sitting here in, in Europe, are uh, constantly alerted to the tragedies in uh, the Middle East and in other parts of the world, and perhaps uh, not sufficiently schooled in um, the problems of, of your region. What do you think uh, the region can do about the terrible tragedy of the Democratic Republic of the Congo now? And what would, might you call on uh, influential leaders in, in Europe and North America to contribute uh, to a peaceful outcome of that very tragic situation at present? Thank you for the question, most appropriate. You know, uh, the DRC is potentially the richest country in Africa, hmm. and arguably one of the richest in the world. And uh, more than the, DR the DRC, I think the world has failed the DRC. We have failed the DRC in A, appreciating what value, true value, we can get out of them and they for themselves. And part of what can be done is for the likes of myself when here to share that with you and share that with leaders outside the DRC, outside Africa, because we in Africa, particularly in Southern Africa, talk about this. Um, one of my maiden voyages was to, to Angola, and I saw a president um, who is a former military general in Angola um, who has been in office for six months. So he felt pretty good when he was you know, seeing me as a, a novice. Um, and uh, we talked about the DRC because he's the chairman of the organ on, you know, uh, an organ of safety and security in SADC. Um, and he informed me that on the 24th of this month, he is uh, in agreement with the chairman of SADC, calling what's called a double troika meeting, i.e. the chairman of the organ, the whole membership of the organ, and the rest of SADC, the heads of state level, becomes a summit, and it's double troika to deal with the DRC. And the tragedy about the DRC is that the, the tensions are mounting. Uh, the president of the DRC has um, stayed in power longer than at the time that uh, was expected. And uh, there's a lot of agitation. And we in Botswana, uh, mindful of the need to respect the rule of law, and uh, my predecessor issued a statement uh, condemning uh, such. Um, and in this meeting, we hopefully will understand fully from President Kabila uh, what is going on. But I have got it on record that President Kabila is committed to um, not standing for the upcoming elections. The elections will be held in December, which is very encouraging. Um, but we also want to get it directly from him as a grouping, and ho hopefully we can get from him a real commitment to not attempt to come back to power by whatever means. Um, if you retire, just you know, retire and, and let the processes run themselves. But on a final note, part of the underlying cause of instability in the DRC is that many those who harvest the resource of the DRC see benefit in harvesting outside the framework of a rule of law. And that in itself is a real threat. So we need to modernize, we need to bring to order um, all the operators in the DRC who seem to thrive where there's an absence of proper governance. And that you can help us uh, take home uh, by causing and forcing those who so do, um, to abide with the rule of law. What's good for the goose is good for the gander.